so Baltimore wins the tip. Pass to Chandler. Back to Aiton. And Aiton throws it down. With his length, Aiton can easily get to the rim. In fact, he almost makes it look too easy. Howard with a clean look. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Eight in the screen. And here's Gilgis Alexander outside. And Baltimore hits again from deep. And this is the kind of fire Gilgis Alexander plays with. How about the response there? Poor design there defensively. They, they know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. See, this is what analytics don't take into account. Some guys thrive in the mid-range. Really depends on the shooter. It's actually kind of lazy. Great. Isn't it amazing the way Gilgis Alexander has polished off his game? The footwork, Kevin, is impeccable. Three-level score makes every shot imaginable. And what's scary, this guy still has another level to get to. Capable of playing either guard position. Hard and sense for when his teammates are open is ridiculous. And it's Harden with the ball for Miami. To the middle. Here's Wembenyama. He's an up and in off the pretty assist. Wembenyama's got six. Defenders try to knock Wembenyama off his rhythm, but he knows it's coming and he's prepared for it. Takes the three. And it's Gilgis Alexander missing. And Benyama outside. And again, Miami with the triple. And I like when Wimpenyama is aggressive on offense because defenses feel helpless to stop him. Back to West. And the dunk by West. Just a textbook lead pass right there, putting it right where it needed to be. Harden surveying the D. In the corner, it's James. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. And that's the improvement of his game. You've got to guard Braun close at the perimeter. He can be so efficient from out there. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. And out of bounds as Baltimore gains possession. There's one for the low light. Wow. I'm not sure who messed up the pass, but look, somebody did. Home team foul. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Down low. Hayden. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. Lethal in pick and roll action. Aiden making them pay. Ren Benyama, a screen. Back to Peyton. It's tipped. It's Ren Benyama at the elbow. It's tipped. Here's Bolt. Look out! Look out! Wow. Okay, I see you. Hey, guys, I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is to get the two points, not necessarily the dramatics. Oh, come on. He had to go for that, didn't he? My goodness. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Following the score by Ryan. To the wing right side. Out to Chandler. Fires the three. And Baltimore hits again from deep. The way he can elevate over a defender from deep, very tough to contain outside the arc. Inside, here's Wimbenyama. And Wimbenyama throws it down. Watch out. Wimbenyama hammering that one home. 
You know, here we are, Greg, looking at Victor Rembanyama. I mean, <laughs> can he get any taller? Wow. <laughs> well, he's already seven foot four, Kevin. But yes, what's amazing is that I still think he's drunk, which is scary for the rest of the league. Oh, great decision there. Get it to Wimbenyama and let Victor finish as the roller. Pass to Aiton. To the inside. You guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for Miami? The ball movement has been outstanding so far. They've come out of the gate looking for that extra pass. And the other thing I've been impressed with, guys, is their assertiveness at attacking the paint, trying to hunt for those high percentage work. And Miami making a change here. 54 seconds left in the first half. And here is Peyton, still without a basket. A shot by Harden, wide open. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. A staple of Harden's attack. His three-point shot is about as lethal as it gets. We've got 28 seconds left here in the first half. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Here's Chandler, and he can't stop the run as he misses. How hard. That'll do it for the first half. Miami leads by eight. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. The visiting team. Here's Harden. Pass to Powell. Back to Harden. Powell with the screen. Lock at six. Miami needs to get a shot off. And it's Aiton with the rebound. And the defense did just enough to bother that dunk attempt. And it's going to be out of bounds. Baltimore will retain possession. Great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. Yeah, I think he was hoping to maybe even get the steal, but I agree. He's still got a good outcome. Chandler, no good. Just outworking the shooter, keeping the shot off target and bagging the rebound. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Miami. All game long, they've been making it rain from the arc. And look, they've done it by feeding the hot hands. And on top of that, they're getting a lot of points off assists. And it's always a good sign when your team is working as a cohesive unit. Not the shot I expected him to take or make, but hey, look, joke's on me. He hit it. Aiden with the ball. Now Chandler defending. Rambinha. Gets the bucket. And this is why many are excited about Wimbenyama's future. Such a unique, versatile player and scorer. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. From deep. The rebound by Victor Rembenyama. Miami leading by nine. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. 20 points for Victor Wembenyama. And when Wembenyama is connecting from deep, he is downright unguardable. This is how special a talent he is. That doesn't go either for Wembenyama. Here's Gilgis Alexander. To the paint. And the rejection by Wembenyama. 
Come on. Fires the three. And again, Miami with the triple. He runs so well for his size. Wimpenyama knows how to finish on the break. Now left to the wing. Again, the miss by Baltimore. And it's Miami's ball. It's been eight unanswered points for him. From past the arc. That doesn't go either for Ren Benyama. And so Aiton will bring it up for Baltimore. 15 point game. Baltimore moving that ball around. Pass to Bowen. Over in the corner, Chandler. From outside the arc, Bowen shot is off. And so here is Miami on the wing, Harden. LeBron, left side. There's the three. Baltimore with the rebound. But sometimes it's more about what the defense is doing on that possession. They were all over him on the perimeter. On the wing, Chandler. Pass to West. Now here's Aiton. And Aiton throws it down. And becoming more of a facilitator, West finds his man that time. Harden outside. To the middle. Here's Wimbenyama. Give him the ball anywhere close to the hoop. That thing is over. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. A three. He can't get it to go. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. And Benyama gets the bucket. And you don't anticipate a guy over seven feet tall pulling up and drilling a shot like that. And the foul called on Victor Wembenyama. That's his first foul. First team foul. Miami on defense. They lead by 17. The shot by Chandler wide open. His three pointers off the mark. The pointer. And again, it's Victor Wembenyama with the triple. And Benyama's got 15 points in just the second half. And stolen by Wembenyama. Hayton from outside. And again, Miami with the triple. And it was Wembenyama who got it rolling after definitely getting a hold of the ball there. Back to Hayton. And Hayton throws it down. Assisted by. Well, I guess we can give him credit for not getting discouraged. They're still playing hard. He's doing his job out there. Inside, Rembenyama. Can't get it to fall. To the inside. And he throws it down. How about the floor awareness by Gilgis Alexander? Solid at just spotting his open teammate. And he's good on the three ball. 33 points for Victor Wembenyama. Well, the man has no part, and that's poor defense for a team that has a long way to catch up. Effort like this makes you wonder if they've already packed it in for the game, ready to go into the next. Got to at least show a little part out here. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin, and the outcome of this one was never in doubt.